Different organizations and authorities use different acronyms for the same subject. Since 2011, IKO uses the acronym EDTO, Extended Diversion Time Operation, instead of ETOPS for all aircraft. EASA and FAA are still using the acronym ETOPS. Additionally, EASA uses LROPS for long-range operations for three- and four-engine aircraft. ETOPS approval is a two-step process. First, the airframe and engine combination must satisfy the basic ETOPS requirements during its type certification. This is called ETOPS type approval. Such tests may include shutting down an engine and flying the remaining engine during the complete diversion time. Often, such tests are performed in the middle of the ocean. It must be demonstrated that, during the diversion flight, the flight crew is not unduly burdened by extra workload due to the lost engine, and that the probability of the remaining engine failing is extremely remote. The area of operation is determined by drawing a circle on each selected adequate airport by the use of the maximum diversion distance as the radius over the intended route. An ETOPS en route alternate aerodrome shall be considered adequate if, at the expected time of use, the aerodrome is available and equipped with necessary ancillary services, such as air traffic services, ETS, sufficient lighting, communications, weather reporting, navigation aids and emergency services, and has at least one instrument approach procedure available. The operator shall only select an aerodrome as an ETOPS en route alternate aerodrome when the appropriate weather reports or forecasts or any combination thereof indicates that, at the time of intended operations, conditions will exist at or above the planning minima calculated by adding the additional limits of Table 1. The equal time point, ETP, is a point on the route which is located at the same flying time from two suitable diversion airports. The ETP position can be determined by a computerized flight plan that features such capability or mathematically or graphically on a navigation or plotting chart. An aerodrome may be nominated as an ETOPS en route alternate for flight planning and release purposes if the available forecast weather conditions for a period commencing at the earliest potential time of landing and ending one hour after the latest nominated time of use of that aerodrome equal or exceed the criteria required by Table 1. If the dispatch of a flight is delayed by more than one hour, pilots and or operations personnel should monitor weather forecasts and airport status at the nominated en route alternates to ensure that they stay within the specified planning minima requirements until dispatch. The following describes a scenario for a diversion at the most critical point. The aeroplane is required to carry sufficient fuel, taking into account the forecast wind and weather to fly to an ETOPS route alternate, assuming the greater of flight at the approved one engine inoperative cruise speed assuming an engine failure at the most critical point, followed by descent to the one-engine inoperative cruise altitude. A rapid decompression at the most critical point, followed by descent to a 10,000 feet or a higher altitude, if sufficient oxygen is provided, in accordance with the applicable operational requirements. Flight at the approved one-engine inoperative cruise speed, assuming a rapid decompression and a simultaneous engine failure at the most critical point, followed by descent to a 10,000 feet or a higher altitude, if sufficient oxygen is provided, in accordance with the applicable operational requirements. If an APU is one of the required power sources, then its fuel consumption should be accounted for during the appropriate phases of flight. Additional fuel consumptions due to any MEL or CDL items should be accounted for during the appropriate phases of flight when applicable. During the flight, the flight crew should remain informed of any significant changes in conditions at designated ETOPS en route alternate aerodromes. 
Prior to the ETOPS entry point, the forecast weather, established aerodrome status, fuel remaining and, where possible, field conditions and aerodrome services and facilities at designated ETOPS en route alternates are to be evaluated. If any conditions are identified which could preclude safe approach and landing on a designated en route alternate aerodrome, then the flight crew should take appropriate action, such as rerouting as necessary to remain within the operator's approved diversion time of an en route alternate aerodrome, with forecast weather to be at or above landing minima. In the event this is not possible, the nearest en route alternate aerodrome should be selected, provided the diversion time does not exceed the maximum approved diversion time. This does not override the pilot in command's authority to select the safest course of action.